specter of water poisoning will remain closed until mm. further notice. This follows uh, reports that the water was allegedly contaminated, poisoned by angry, angry residents. The residents embarked on a protest emanating out of the demolition of housing structures by the municipality. The municipality and the community are at loggerheads. These residents are picking up the pieces after their houses were demolished. They've denied any role in the alleged poisoning of the water at the reservoir. Yes, they never consulted us. They just came here and demolished our structures. Uh, they came with the uh, securities and police officers. We were here by that time. Uh, we heard uh, about uh, water poisoning, but we don't know about that. We are still waiting for law agencies to investigate about that thing. Uh, if there's anyone who is respon responsible for water poisoning, he must be arrested. Because we don't know nothing about that thing. The municipality says it has a court order for the demolitions. Right, uh, as you see up there. That site is ERF 87 and 85, which is the municipal common age uh, site, but also under land claims by the Amang Traditional Council. So the matter is still before the court. Uh, now the judgment of the court was that that land must not be used by anyone, whether the municipality, whether Amang as the claimant of the land or anyone else. So there was a court order, therefore, to demolish those structures. After that, there was a protest uh, that was done by community members, especially the ones that had sites there or the structures that were built there. They did a lot of things. They started by um, uh, here in town. If you can see, the electricity is not working there. The transformers have been bent down. Uh, on Friday morning, so there is no electricity at all in town, and also the, there is this uh, uh, also challenge that is here uh, on the water pump. The mayor says the reservoir has been closed as a precautionary measure. It's not clear how the dispute between the residents and the municipality will be resolved. Atule Joga, SABC News, Ndabangulu. And Atule Joker joins us now from Port Elizabeth. Uh, Atule, just tell us more. So, water contaminated, uh, poisoned, allegedly by angry residents. Is, is there any danger that this will go into people's homes or, or sort of buckets if, if people are using those reservoirs? Or has the problem been contained? Mm. Okay. Well, uh, good day, uh, good evening to you in studio and a warm welcome to SABC News viewers. Well, uh, when we were speaking to the um, local municipality mayor, uh, she assured us that uh, people are not in danger as yet because what they have done is that after the health officials or the health uh, experts in that area detected that there might be contamination in that water, they immediately closed that reservoir so that uh, the community cannot use it. But the villages that are being supplied by that reservoir have, have been made uh, alternatives uh, by use of trucks who are delivering water to those villages. So um, the, 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 the situation is quite uh, contained at this moment in time. Uh, people are not in danger, I, I can safely say. Any real suspects here? Anybody in danger of being arrested? Um, no one is arrested yet because uh, the community members are saying uh, they do not have a hand in, in what was happening because um, if, 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 if you can look at it this way is that uh, you, uh, bad lines are drawn between the municipality and the community members because what happened was that uh, the community um, identified a piece of land and they occupied it uh, by means of uh, uh, erecting their own structures by building their own houses in the plots in that land that they identified but the municipality Municipality was saying uh, uh, the court order ruled that uh, that land is still under uh, 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 um, uh, con con in contention in court. Uh, it's still being a matter that is dis discussed be uh, before a court of law. So no one is allowed to go there and uh, occupy that piece of land. So they were given a court order to demolish the houses that were built there. So uh, the community were not allowed to also build those houses there. So that is the situation at the moment. Um, um, so hence the municipal 
municipality was thinking since uh, after after um, the demolitions happened on Wednesday um, th th there were a lot of disruptions that were happening around uh, that community uh, they were burning of uh, the, the, the electricity supply um, resources uh, and so forth and then this water con contamination issue as well so they were saying uh, that they, they, they are um, suspecting that it is the community members who may be aggrieved by the decision or by the demolition of their uh, houses there. Uh, so no one is arrested yet because uh, no one has been fingered or no, no case has been opened. So, so you can understand uh, community members get very angry. We've seen the same in, in Johannesburg after the demolition of houses. Uh, but this is serious retaliation, dangerous retaliation. Uh, any concerns that there will be ongoing sort of sabotage attacks or, or even copycats uh, attacks in other communities? Um, this is quite dangerous if you look at it because uh, that very same water was going to be used um, by the community if I heard you correctly. So um, those tactics or the, the, the sort of uh, revenge, uh, so to speak, will be dangerous of course because I think of a situation if it was not detected uh, earlier on and then the community um, got, got to use that water, uh, it, it would have been very uh, detrimental to, to that society at large. All right, thank you very much, uh, Tule Joka, on that story for us. So reporting live from Port Elizabeth. Tepisa? Thanks, uh, Francis. Gauteng Premier David Makura.